What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm trying out something um, kind of strange. So earlier in 2020, around the time when we had like none of the new Pokemon, pre-DLC season one, I decided to try out Golisopod and it was a pretty decent team. However, the meta has shifted a bit and I thought right about now would be a good time to try it out again. With Rillaboom being so prominent in the metagame, I figured it'd be a good time to maybe see if uh, Goliathpod can stand up to it with first impression shenanigans. Uh, however, we are using our own Rillaboom on this team. But before I get into the video, uh, I'd like to ask you all to leave a like if you enjoyed it at any point in time. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. Let's try to shoot for 150 today. I always say 150. Like, I I'm too scared to say anything higher. 200 if you want to help me out, I guess. But also, uh, question of the day. This one's interesting. Basically, I've been tempted to start a series where you guys all submit to me clips on Twitter of your VGC matches. Let's say you manage to pull off a really cheesy shenanigan on the ladder. Uh, go ahead, like screen record that. If you don't know how to, you just press the uh, screenshot button, hold it down, it'll save it. You can immediately tweet that at me. And I wanted to start a, a series where I actually just react to those and give my thoughts on the strategies that you guys are using. So let me know if you guys are interested in that at all. I'll make an announcement video if there's enough hype behind it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're using a weakness policy Rillaboom, and while I could first impression my Rillaboom, I'd rather not take 50% of its health away. This Rillaboom is meant to outspeed Timid Max Speed Togekiss, um, and it has a weakness policy because it pairs really, really well with uh, my boy Dragapult here. It's a special Dragapult, so we have minimum attack, and we are running a Life Orb, however, that's just because my Focus Sash is on this Bisharp. Uh, even like, we're, we're like a minimum attack with a life orb, so the U-turn won't do too much. Basically what I can do is I can, um, I can scare my opponents from leading off with an Intimidate Pokemon by having Bisharp on the team. And if I lead off with Rillaboom, what I can do is I can Dynamax, I can U-turn on my Rillaboom, neither of my Pokemon can actually get, um, faked out because one's a Ghost-type and one's Dynamax. I end up getting to plus two, and Rillaboom is a really high attack stat with 125. So I have Acrobatics here to give myself Max Airstream. I have Grassy Glide, so I can just have a really powerful um, G-Max Drum Solo and a priority move outside of um, Dynamax. And I have Super Power for Max Knuckle. So I thought that was just a really cool and novel idea. Uh, once again, Special Dragapult, Clear Body, U-Turn, Draco Meteor, Shadow Ball, Flamethrower, standard stuff. I might switch it for Thunderbolt because we have no electric coverage on this team, but I'll see how it turns out. Incineroar, Safety Goggles, the same spread I use everywhere. A bulky scope lens, super luck, Toicus, and focus sash Bisharp. So yeah, if you enjoy this at any point in time, uh, just leave a like. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little bit tired today. I've been kind of stressed recently with um, classes, and that's also why it's been tricky for me to get videos up every day. But I've been somehow managing. You know, gotta make that bread. Gotta get those subscribers, and the channel's been doing really well, so I'm I'm pretty happy. This account's sitting at like 1560, which isn't bad. So hopefully, I don't end up losing a ton from <laughs> using this strategy, as we end up seeing. That's terrifying, actually. Um, this is just straight hyper offense. That's definitely beat up Dragapult next to Cobalion. So, how do I deal with this? Um, let me think. I have the option of leading off Incineroar. I think I have to lead off Incineroar, in fact. I'll lead off Incineroar. I want to keep Rillaboom in the back because I'd like my terrain to go up second. Um, and what I can do is I can do Incineroar, Bisharp, probably. Mm, maybe not Bisharp. It kind of feels like Togekiss isn't a bad option. This is actually a really tricky one. This is like straight up hyper offense, so we might start this off with a loss. I'm going to put a timer on because they do better under pressure. All right. Um, I definitely want Rillaboom in the back. I'm thinking... Um, I could follow me away the first hit. Yeah, I'll go Togekiss. I want Rillaboom in the back because it lets me get rid of the terrain. And I think my last Pokemon is going to have to be... Uh, it's kind of a toss-up between Dragapult and Bisharp. Let me think. Let me think here. Dragapult nets me solid damage on just about everything. It gives me a switch into max strike on Porygon Z, where Bisharp, it doesn't do too much. So I'll go Dragapult here. Hopefully we don't end up with a, a first game loss. All right, there's the Porygon Z. Um, I think it's pretty likely that they're going to be wanting to go for a max strike into this Togekiss slot. So what I can do here is I can go ahead and... I'm going to Parting Shot into this Porygon Z and get in my Dragapult on what I assume is going to be a Max Strike. As they follow me, that's fine. I managed to avoid this Max Strike. I could get in Rillaboom here. It'd be pretty easy. And 
I mean, what do I have to lose? Um, follow me would just negate my U-turn entirely. Hmm. I think it's in my best interest to get in Togekiss here. Yeah. Um, the issue is I'm likely going to lose my Togekiss. Yeah, I'll get in Togekiss. I could follow me away a hit, but I don't think he's going to target down my Mon anyways. It could also max guard, and max airstream would be disgusting in the endgame. So I think I'm going to go for just that, actually. Yeah, I'm going to max guard here. And I'm going to U-turn on that Ndidi. As they send out the Cobalion, that's fine. Alright. Uh, and I'll be able to get in the Incineroar here for fake-out pressure on that Cobalion. Or, no, I have no fake-out pressure, but at the very least I intimidate it. There's the Max Strike. And... I mean, I have to take one at this point. Like, it's just it's just a fact. And I don't take it very well. I kind of had to use my <laughs> I kind of had to use my um, Dynamax completely defensively this game, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, um, there's no reason trying to save the Tokus. I could go for a double, but I don't think it's worth it. I'll just max Airstream into the Cobalion slot and go for a Flare Blitz because I want to get rid of that. There's the Iron Head, likely going to lose my uh, Tokus here. Oh, as we're actually faster than that Porygon Z, which is interesting. So it's a bulky Porygon Z. We do end up getting the speed boost, which is incredible, because I have one more turn of that. I can completely remove the Indeedee. So I'll go for a max airstream into the Porygon Z. It's likely going to get redirected, um, but I can also go for this uh, Darkest Lariat in case that doesn't knock out. As it doesn't, that's incredible. I get the crit to knock it out. Get my Darkest Lariat off. They're likely going to expanding force, which I'm perfectly fine with. Yeah, I don't think they have a way of winning now. I can get in my Rillaboom, remove their terrain entirely as the Venusaur comes in. And I can go for a fake out here into that Venusaur, go for a, I feel like fake out Flare Blitz works, but I can just fake out Darkest Lariat, play it safe. As they end up going for that, I'm Safety Goggles and Cinderer, there's no way I lose this. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll just Grassy Glide into the Venusaur to break a Focus Sash and Flare Blitz. There's the Helping Hand, likely going for a Sludge Bomb into my Rillaboom. As they Earth Power, okay, well I still knock you out, which is great. GG. Great. Alright. Grassy Glide, U-Turn, beautiful. <laughs> okay, so managed to avoid a loss there. I was actually really concerned about that team, but I think I played around it okay. Okay, geez, more hyper offense. Uh, Clefairy Porygon Z is terrifying. They also have uh, Male and Didi. I'm going to assume it's Choice Scarf, since nothing else on this team really wants to be Scarfed. And uh, the Psychic Terrain is really scary with um, Expanding Force. So what I can do here is I can lead off Incineroar for essentially a free Intimidate and whatever I want. And I think I make like the exact same lead I did last game, but instead of instead of Rillaboom, I think I need to bring Bisharp here uh, just to help out with that Ndidi, because Ndidi could do a lot of work versus my team, but I don't know. I kind of really want to bring Golisopod, even though I know it's probably not the best play. Yeah, Dragapult's going to be amazing here. And now it's a toss-up between these three. Let me think. Um... Glycepod nets me first impression damage on you, Aqua Jet on you, uh, Liquidation on you is also pretty good. First impression on you, first impression on you. Even though it doesn't do much, it's still um, enough to pick up chip. Rillaboom lets me remove the terrain. Helps me deal with uh, the Primarina a bit better. Bisharp has a Focus Sash, which is just kind of nice in general. Hmm, let me think. I'm going to go uh, Rillaboom here. Yeah, that's fine. So, what I can do is I can call them probably wanting to max Knuckle, I assume, to remove this Incineroar. I just think Dragapult in general is a safe play. Yeah, and I'll go for a Dazzling Gleam because I shouldn't get knocked out by Max Airstream. Or actually, I should really just max Airstream against them. It makes more sense. Yeah. All right. No, I'm going to I'm going to get my speed up. We get a critical hit, which is great. There's the Sing. Oh my god, can you not? <laughs> can you not for a moment? Uh, let me U-turn on this Primarina and Max Airstream once more. Into the Clefairy slot. There's the Helping Hand. Um, I can get in my Rillaboom and I should take... I, don't, I actually don't know if I take that. 
I'll get an Incineroar, because at the very least I can Parting Shot on Primarina next turn. And I can definitely take this uh, Starfall, I believe. Or hopefully it just goes into Togekiss. He, they definitely didn't go for a Water move, though. Oh cool, it's into Togus. that's fine. I meant like, into the Dragapult slot. Now I have a plus two Togekiss, a plus one Incineroar, Fake Out Pressure, the ability to Parting Shot. So what I'll do here is I'll just Parting Shot onto the Primarina as I max Airstream into this uh, Cinderace. They Protect, it's perfectly fine. I'm gonna get some chip damage. I get the critical hit. Parting Shot out. I should be able to get in Rillaboom for free here. And now Grassy Glide is likely in a range where it can KO the Cinderace. Yeah, this isn't bad at all, actually. Um, let me get in Incineroar here. Hmm. I'll actually just go for the Fake Out on the Cinderace. And I'll Parting Shot here, because I'm definitely faster than Primarina. I think. Let me think. 58 to 123... 83. <laughs> I mean, I do have the 20 speed investment. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm willing to take the bet. Come on, baby. Max Starfall, not gonna knock me out. And they actually removed their terrain, which is great for me. So what I can do here is... It's probably Scarf and Didi. I'll get back in my Incineroar. And I'll U-turn on the uh, Primarina to get back in Rillaboom. Oh, and why did I say Scarf and Didi? It's not Scarf and Didi, it's Psychic Seed, but that's fine. In fact, that's better. I get in the Rillaboom here. I'm immune to that. I eat that up. I have Grassy Glide to help me out. Uh, what I can do here is it's probably just a free double into this Indeedy slot. Yeah, I'll do this. Um, they're definitely going to switch out the Primarina for the Cinderace, so I'll just get the double. As they helping hand. Oh no. That might have been a misplay. The Hyper Voice. Oh, come on. The crit? Are you kidding me, dude? That crit definitely mattered. That 100% mattered. That's a little bit annoying. Can I just, like, crit a Shadow Ball here? Yeah, that's annoying. GG. Yeah, that crit 100% mattered. I figured they would switch out the Primarina there. Hopefully I can pull off this uh, Golisopod thing. I really want to use it, you know? Alright. So here, this is an interesting one. Um, is that an Urshifu? I think for this team, it would actually probably be Urshifu Water. Just because... How do you hit anything Fire-type with this team? <laughs> hmm. I can probably score a free KO on the Ndidi with uh, First Impression. Here's what I'll do. I'll lead off Glycopod and Incineroar just because the Intimidate looks incredible. Rillaboom in the back. And do I want Tokus or Dragapult here? I think I end up faring better with... Hmm. I mean, I definitely have to be careful with that Tailwind, you know? I think I end up doing better with uh, Togekiss in the end. Just because there's an Urshifu on that side of the field. There's the Talonflame, there's the Dragazult. Dragazult's likely going to uh, Dynamax here. I can fake out that Talonflame for free. I'm hoping he doesn't max Airstream into Glycepot, I'm just hoping for uh, an electric move. Maybe I just fake out an Aqua Jet and sack the Glycepod. Just to get a Rillaboom for free, that'd be incredible. I might have to do that. Yeah, I definitely don't want to lose Glycepod this early, as they have Quick Guard, okay, that messes me up. I mean, I still have Fake Out Pressure. <laughs> Just not very good fake-out pressure. Um, let me think here. I definitely don't want them getting Tailwind up, because that would destroy me. 
and go for a fake out into the town flame. And I want a Darkest Lariat because from that range, Grassy Glide should do it. But I think it's better if I just Parting Shot on the Drake Assault. So the Max Air Stream. I actually survive, which is really nice. I get my weakness policy as well. But it looks like this is going to be like a, a Dynamax Togekiss game. So I can... I mean, I probably actually can't knock it out here. Let me think. I mean, I'm going to lose my Rillaboom. I might as well just go for damage. Switch back in the Incinera. Kind of backed into a corner here. Yeah, I should have called the Quick Guard, but not all Talonflame are carrying it. Grassy Glide does not KO, they're going to get their Tailwind off. At the very least, uh, their Dynamax is over, and I actually managed to maintain my Rillaboom. Unfortunately, it's definitely going down this turn. Or er, Dragazold has a chance to miss. Um, I think Talonflame, if anything, is going to Quick Guard. So, I can get a KO on the Talonflame. And I can probably just... Do I... I don't want to Dynamax my Rillaboom, because I'm just going to lose it. Yeah, all Superpower into Dracozult and Darkest Lariat. There's the Quick Guard. Managed to call that. There's the Aerial Ace. That's fine. I'm going to remove this Talonflame from the field. And now I can Dynamax the Toekiss, but... If that Dracozult outspeeds me, it's not looking good. I mean, if it manages to land a hit, that is. And again, it is at pretty low attack. I think I just have to Dynamax here. Er, mm. If it lands that Bolt Beak, it's knocking out my uh, my Togekiss. That's the issue. Let me go for a Max Guard and just hope for that 80%. There's the Urshifu Rapid Strike. Hopefully you Bolt Beaked into the Togekiss here. Yep. Alright. Um, I'm sort of forced to Starfall into Dracozult, hoping for a miss. I'm going to lose my Incineroar. And I just Darkest Lariat into Dracozult as well, I assume. There's the Bolt Beak. That puts me in range of Aqua Jet, which is unfortunate, as they just have Thunder Punch. What? Okay, well, GG. That's another loss today. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, Dragalge, Arcanine, Togekiss, Milotic, Rillaboom, and Bisharp. I think here I can probably lead off Rillaboom pretty safely. Yeah, I'm going to bring Rillaboom, Dragapult in the lead. That should allow me to get my strategy off. I'll bring Basharp in the back, um, because I feel like if they end up leading off with Dragalge, I'll be able to get in Basharp for absolutely free. And my last Pokemon, um, let me think. I don't want to bring my own Incineroar. Togekiss kind of gets messed up by a few things here. Hmm. If I bring Tokus, I get some redirection for Rillaboom. I think that outweighs everything, so I'll go with that. There's the Milotic, there's the Tokus. Do they follow me here? I'm a little bit concerned about that. I think they might just follow me. What I can do is I can go for a fake out into the Togekiss. But the thing is they could also Dynamax. They could also Dynamax here. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. I think I just have to. I'll max Airstream into the Togekiss. Hopefully they just don't follow me. Yeah, they wouldn't follow me on that play. Alright, there's the Airstream. Get my U-turn off. I can get in my own Togekiss here. For some redirection. Get my airstream off. I'm a bit faster now. Likely going to take a lot here, especially if it's crit kiss. Yep, just get knocked out. Oh, this isn't looking good, man. <laughs> I just want to use Rillaboom. <laughs> hmm. I mean, Dragobolt still outspeeds the Togekiss, and I do have plus one on my own Togekiss. Let me think. They likely have Heat Wave on the Arcanine, too. I think I have to go Dragobolt. I can just follow me away a hit. 
Hmm. Nah, I definitely should have gone with Sharp there. I'm an idiot. Let me... Just get some damage on this Arcanine, I guess, and follow me away a hit. There's the Snarl. Max Starfall. They are not Crit Kiss, it looks like. And luckily, they didn't speed boost this turn, which is really nice for me. However, they are faster, which is... Honestly, I should have actually seen that coming. I just didn't think they'd be that fast. We're at plus one. They're outspeeding the, the Dragapult. Alright, well... Shadow Ball, follow me. Not much I can do. Get in the Bisharp. That is a loss for us. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get one more game. This video is, at this point, trying to use Golisopod. <laughs> this video is literally just trying to use Golisopod in VGC. I want to get one win with this. Like, we did get one win early on, and I will be honest, I'm very happy with how we got that win. A lot of defensive play. However, this team is... Whew, it's unreliable. I'm dropping points left and right. Let me think. So, like they got... Tailwind, Fake Tears, judging by the fact that there's a Duraldon on that side of the field. Urshifu, probably Rapid Strike since there's no other water type in the, on the other side of the field. Um, hmm. I think they always lead Togekiss versus me. I can lead off Incineroar pretty safely. There is really no downside there. Yeah. So I think lead Incineroar bring the Togekiss on the lead as well. I can probably get like a parting shot for free off on that Duraldon. The Sharp looks amazing in this matchup. I have to be careful with you though. You're gonna be annoying. And I think... You know, neither Rillaboom or Dragapult do really well here, so I'm kind of forced to bring Glyspod. <laughs> Hopefully that isn't something awful. All right, cool. Get the lead right. Uh, what I can do here is I should be able to fake out Max Airstream into the Whimsicott pretty safely and just remove it from the field and eat whatever hit I need to from this Duraldon. So I think I actually got the better lead. Like, yeah, it's going to hurt. However, at plus one speed, I should be able to outspeed the Duraldon with my Incineroar and then just parting shot out. And I can definitely take a Max Steel Spike. There's the Max Wormwind. Okay. Okay, I'm actually really happy you went for that. I think I just win now. I don't see how you actually come back from this. Like, I, I max airstream everything on their side of the field. They need crits to win. Ooh, actually, I don't outspeed that Duraldon. Unless I max airstream one more time, which I should be able to. A little bit concerned about, um... A little bit concerned about a Aqua Jet coming out from this Urshifu. However, I don't think it really breaks my my game plan if they end up getting it off. Because I still have Sash Basharp, which kind of messes things up. So here I'll just Parting Shot in the Duraldon, Max Urshifu into Urshifu. They do have the Aqua Jet, that's perfectly fine. I should be able to take a hit and one-shot this Urshifu. Yeah, I ate the hit pretty well. Get in the... Ooh, I kind of hope it's uh, Rillaboom that comes out, to be honest. I'm getting the Golisopod here. Ah, it's Togekiss. I could have gotten in the Bisharp. I think that's the second time today where getting in Bisharp would have definitely won me a game, and I just ended up not. Alright, uh, let me think here. They're gonna follow me. They're definitely gonna follow me. Um, so I'll just liquidate into the Togekiss as well as I go for the airstream. Get a little bit of speed on my Golisopod as they knock out the Togekiss. If they max Lightning, I'd be really surprised, because that would be... What? What kind of play was that? Are you going to yawn? Are you going to air slash? It's the Dazzling Gleam. Whoa, what, what was that play? I'm, I'm confused, man. Alright, well, Aqua Jet will pick up the KO here. Um, I don't think I need to keep uh, Tokus alive to win. I can just Dazzling Gleam. Or actually, Dazzling Gleam will pick up the KO, the KO on Tokus anyways. So I really should just Sucker Punch into the Duralda for maximum damage. Yeah. Please let me get one win with Golisopod today. <laughs> there we go. 
as they are just gonna, yeah, knock themselves out with life orb. Cool. Let's get one more. One more. I want to pull off that weakness policy Rillaboom strategy. Okay, as we face Psy Spam Hyper Offense, um, let me think. I think they're going to lead off with... I, I definitely think they lead off with the um, Cinderace here. So I can lead off Incineroar pretty safely. Um, Actually, Incineroar for Sharp doesn't look like an awful lead. In fact, it deals with most of their team. So I'll go Incineroar but Sharp. I can bring Rillaboom in the back. I'm really weak to this um, Chandelure for some reason. I just noticed that. Rillaboom in the back, and I think my last Mon's going to have to be the Togekiss. As much as I want to press first impression against this whole team with Golisopod, I know that that isn't going to work. You know what? I don't care about my ladder. We're going to do the Golisopod strategy. We're doing this Golisopod strategy. All right. So same lead. Incineroar, but Sharp. Rillaboom, Goliath, but we have all physical attackers. This isn't going to go well, but I want to do it. I want to press first impression versus Psy Spam. I feel like that'd just be uh, cathartic. All right, um, that isn't terrible, actually. I do get outsped by the Chandelure. However, I am Focus Sash, so I can probably get in... No, no, I definitely just go for Larry out here. And at the Chandelure as I protect... They can follow me, that's fine. They get the heat wave. Oh, Burning Jealousy, okay. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, who did they Burning Jealousy into? Oh, it hits both. I actually didn't know that. I haven't seen Burning Jealousy at all. All right. Wow, we are so Chandelure weak. Hmm. I mean, I am... I am... How do I say this? I am Focus Sash. I should be able to Assurance here and be fine. But it's going to leave me weak for the rest of the match. I'll just go for it. Because I can take the Burning Jealousy. And then next turn I can get in my Rillaboom and Sucker Punch. Oh no, they're not even Focus Sash. That's interesting. Are they Scarf? I'm not certain. Not certain. Um. Okay, so this is an interesting one. They should just, like, max Knuckle to whatever they need to. Let me think here. I want to keep the Incineroar for Intimidate. I think I go hard into Golisopod. And I can attempt an Iron Head, but I'm likely going to lose the Whimsicott. Because they're just going to Dynamax Cinderace here. There's the max Knuckle. I eat that up. Let's see if... Well, they didn't Tailwind, so I'm going to lose my Bisharp. That's fine. Get an Intimidate off. And they're fighting type right now, so it's not my best interest to actually attack into them. Um, what I can do here, though, is... I can go for a first impression to the Whimscott and get in my Rillaboom, as they most likely go for a max airstream into the Glycopod. And I might be able to win this with Dynamax Rillaboom, but it's going to be really close. It's going to be a real close one. In fact, it might be in my best interest just to parting shot. Well, no. I should definitely first impression, so I can't parting shot. Turn the timer here. I want to get a, like a, a legitimate Golisopod win today. This is a really difficult mod to use in this format. <laughs> Alright. Get my first impression off. Do a little over half. There's the max airstream. We're going to get knocked out. But I will be able to get this thing to minus one, which is incredible. There's the Moonblast. Ooh, I didn't like that damage. I might need to Dynamax my Incineroar, which is an awful prospect. Just an awful prospect here. Let me think. Um, He has that minus one attack. He should Airstream. I can definitely take the hit. You know what? I'm going to let him give me my weakness policy. I'm really hoping that... Uh, <laughs> let me do some math. So, 110... Or, that isn't accurate. It should not be 156. It should be much stronger. Yeah. I'm going to fake out the Whimsicott. I can take the hit from the Cinderace for sure. So I'll just go for uh, Max Airstream here. There's the Max Flare. As they opt, not oh, they just knock me out. That's so disappointing. 
That's so disappointing. I definitely just lost. Um, I mean, if they whiff this high jump kick, I can win, but no, nah, I definitely just lost this match. Go for the Flare Blitz. Hope for the best. If they whiff the high jump kick, I win, but that's the only way. That's so annoying. They could also bounce, but I don't think they're going to do that. Nah, there's the high jump kick. One more. I, Dude, all I want is a Skalisopod win. All I want is a Skalisopod win. Like, yes, we got one earlier, but it wasn't right. And that is going to be a Giga Drain plus uh, weakness policy. I can actually avoid that entirely. Let's just destroy it. We're bringing Goliath still. I know it's suboptimal, guys. I, I definitely know it's suboptimal, but I want to bring the Goliath so bad. I will find a way to run Goliath I, I will definitely find a way. It's just probably not this team. <laughs> Yeah, so if you don't know what this is, uh, basically the whole gist of the strategy is you lead off with um, Lapras and Comfey, and you just go for a Giga Drain into your Lapras, it's priority, so it always goes off first, and then you have Weakness Policy proc by yourself, and you can go for Max Resonance and just take KOs. I should definitely be a little bit scared of the um, Tailwind option, however, I don't think it's going to be awful. They're taking their time here, though. They're thinking about it. We definitely should have thought more about it, but I feel like if I thought any more about it, I would overthink it and lose immediately. Alright, no. We actually made the, the call correctly. Time to U-turn. G-Max drum solo. U-turn. Into the Rillaboom. Uh, so yeah, that's the cool part about Rillaboom. Just immediately one-shots Gigantamax Lapras. He's gonna Giga Drain himself. Oh no, the weakness policy. No, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do that? Hey, bro, I'm doing the same thing. Okay, get my weakness policy off. Watch them just forfeit here. Uh, I can get in. Let me think. I'll just get in Bisharp. Boom, you're dead. And now I have a plus two Rillaboom, a Bisharp. Things are finally working right. Yeah, there's the forfeit. We did it, guys. That's the win for the that's the win for the video. <laughs> this is what happens when I try to run my favorite Pokemon. Goliathopod is just not good. I'll find a way though. I'll definitely find a way. If you guys enjoyed this at any point in time, leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you want. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.